Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so in today's video, we have another reaction video. Now, I'm going to just say I'm kind of a little late to the game on this because this video is almost a year old, but we're going to react to it anyway. Also, let's just pin let's just point out that this video has more likes than dislikes for a video that says trans women aren't male. Okay, okay. Sure, sure. <laughs> Girl, we about to get into this shit. Okay. Ugh, I can already feel the trolls now. <laughs> hey friends, we're going to be talking about the idea of gender and biological sex and what terminology is inclusive and necessary and what terminology is just a subtle way to misgender someone. Do I imagine there will be many trolls on this video? Absolutely. Before we get into it, I do want to thank the sponsor of this video, NERX, which is an online birth control app. Are you someone who is having need birth control, but unfortunately for and delivery of several preventative treatment. If you already have insurance, NERX generally offers generic contraceptives for prescription. Honestly, I think this is super revolutionary and I feel like this is the future of contraceptives and I'm really excited about it. Anyway, back to the concept of gender and sex. I'm gonna start this video off with a disclaimer as I often do when I talk about gender and issues that are relevant to trans folks. I am cisgender. I am not trans. So I- Then why are you talking about trans things? <sighs> Jesus. Hey, if I mess up, please let me know. I felt that it was important to talk about this on my channel because I often talk about feminism and gender related issues and I think it's really important to be mindful about the language we use and the terms we use to describe other people. Wow, what a shocker. Marina's talking about language again. Literally zero people are surprised. I've seen this quite a bit online and since I'm cis, I'm sure I haven't experienced this nearly as much as trans folks just trying to exist online. And this comes from different sides of the political spectrum. Sometimes it's conservatives who just really want to be transphobic. And other times it's radical feminists who also just want to be really transphobic. So while they may disagree on most things politically, the connection here is transphobia. But TERFs and conservatives and everyone in between love to harass trans women online and remind them that they are male or bio males, biologically male, things like that. Fun dog whistles. <sighs> Their argument is that male and female strictly refers to biological sex, so it's kind of like a, I'm not touching you, I'm not touching you. Uh, wrong. No, it's not. Because it's facts. Do you need to go back to first grade, honey? Do you need to understand what male and female is? Because they're, no matter what trans person that exists, they were born biologically male, or biologically female. There's no avoiding that. Okay? And I realize now that this video is a lot like my cringe video on um, Teen Vogue, but um, I've been wanting to make this video for a long time, so I know the topics are somewhat similar, but that's still not going to stop me. So I hope you enjoy. Often this is a thing that is repeatedly hurled at trans women, but not just trans women, trans men and non-binary people as well, as a subtle but not so subtle way to misgender them and remind them that they are really biologically male or bi Okay, it is not misgendering to remind a trans woman that she was born male or a trans man, trans man that they were born female because that's the fucking truth. They were born, I was born biologically male I will always be born male. Nothing will ever change that. You can't change the past. You can't change that. Okay? Are we understanding people? I'm not talking about I'm not talking to you guys, but I'm talking about to the idiots who think otherwise. It's just stupid. Biologically female. Well, we only three minutes into this. My argument to this is that 
Male and female are not and have never been strictly biological terms. They are heavily what? gendered. And everyone knows this. Everyone knows this. Male and female are commonly used adjectives used to describe men and women. Men and women are social categories, their gender identities, and their ways that most people move about the world. But not all because non-binary people exist. Turfs and conservatives and anyone who uses these arguments know this. You can't separate the terms male and female from the gendered contexts in which they are often used. If you say male, someone thinks of a man. If you say female, someone thinks of a woman. Well, so yeah. using it as a weird gotcha for trans people in general is just shitty. When talking about media, people will say like female superheroes or male protagonists. People aren't using it to mean, oh, they have XX chromosomes or XY chromosomes. They're using it to refer to gender. Connotation matters. Context matters. The way we use language matters. It is impossible to divorce these terms from their colloquial use and context. Second argument here is that most people don't know their chromosomes. They've never had them tested. And before you argue with this, have you specifically had your chromosomes tested? No, I haven't. But I don't really have to, hunties, okay? Because it's gonna tell me what I already know. I swear to God, I'm just... This topic stresses me out. Not because... It's just, I swear, do people not realize the truth? Why are they trying to mass manipulate every single person? I'm a trans woman. That does not mean I was born female. Does not mean that my chromosomes are male. I have male tissues. When I get breast augmentation, they're going... Uh, my tissues are male. I will not, I, will, I will heal differently because I was born male. Because I have a male body. And I'm just cringing eternally over this entire concept where people want to just spread this giant lie to all these people over this entire issue. And it pisses me the hell off all of the damn time. I am so sick and tired of people constantly bringing this up. They're like, I was born biologically female. I'm like, bitch the hell you were. <laughs> I'm just like, I am so tired of this. I'm just, ooh, girl. I don't know how much longer this video I can take. Because the answer is most likely no. Intersex people exist. They're real. And they're uh -huh. actually more common than you think. The lowest common statistic I've seen is that one out of every 2,000 people are intersex, and one of the higher ones is one out of every 100 people are intersex. Which, either way... That is still a very small number of people. What don't you understand? Whew, girl, I need a... Is a lot of people. Some girl, intersex some people wine. have three chromosomes. Some intersex people have ambiguous genitalia. People love to argue that biological sex is purely this binary thing, but it actually is. even that is more nuanced and complicated than most people give it credit for. Not all trans people choose to transition medically, and that is super valid. Yeah. But of the many people that do, treatments that trans folks use to medically transition, such as sex-affirming surgery, hormones, etc., alter and change what is commonly thought of the markers of biological sex. Like I mentioned earlier, most people do not have their chromosomes tested, so they don't actually know what their chromosomes are. You can't look at a person and tell if they have XX chromosomes, XY chromosomes, etc. And it's also just a meaningless category that has no real bearing on most people's everyday lives. Other than medical reasons, chromosomes are pretty much irrelevant to the way that people move about the world. Unless you are a person's doctor, there is no reason to refer to a person's biological sex. Like I said before, it's really just a way to invalidate someone's gender. No, it's not. You're not invalidating anyone's gender by reminding them of the gender they were born as. <sighs> I swear, I cannot stand it with cis people who go and go blah 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 about how trans women are 
aren't male and bullshit like this. Okay, look. You want to bring a trans person on your channel? Great. You want to help educate other cis people? Great. But topics like this? No. Just stop. Just stop. Because I... This is a seven minute video. Seven minutes. We are barely six minutes in and I already want to slap her in the face. Um, I'm sure Marina is like a wonderful person, but honestly she really should not, she really has no business talking about topics like this. She is not trans. She may have trans friends. That's great. That's awesome. That's cute. That's whatever. Again, stop talking about trans issues. This whole topic is greatly controversial among the trans community. I don't know why. It's really retarded, if you ask me. There's a lot of trans women online who do not believe like her, like Miss London, Blair White, Ella Grant, okay? I mean, after all, they're not called the, tr the whole, the tranny trinity for nothing, okay? And I'm just... I'm so cringing. I'm so cringing. Alright, <laughs> I am done for today's video. I'm not finishing watching this because I really don't think she's really going to say anything else intelligent. She's gonna, she's gonna make me want to drink a glass of wine with bleach or some shit because I can't anymore, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please do comment, like, subscribe down below. Tell me what you guys think of this video. Tell me more if you guys want to see more reaction videos. I will try to do my best for you guys. Um, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Alright. Bye, guys.